Hey loves, what's up? Today we are going vlogging, uh, Halloween hunting, and I have someone special with me that you guys <laughs> have not. It's the bean. It's the bean. Say hello. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are gonna go to Halloween Express. They just opened a new one. I haven't been to Halloween Express in years. Um, and then I think we're also gonna go to Spirit. I think that's all we're gonna do today. So I don't know if it's gonna be the whole vlog or what we're doing. I don't know. We're just vibing. Uh, we went and got some coffee. Cash. You're cute. <laughs> <laughs> I already drank all my coffee. You already drank all this coffee. And I was, I got half decaf because I was going to cut back. And then they were like, oh, they accidentally made it a grande. So then they gave me both. So now I'm just like, you know, got to do what you got to do. That apple crisp macchiato life. Um, so anyway, per usual, I'm not looking for anything in particular. I honestly have no idea what Halloween Express has or anything. Again, like I said, I haven't been there in forever. I don't think it's as cool as Spirit, to be honest. But we're just going to go see. Poke around. See what's up. And then the Spirit that we might go to is much larger than the one that I took you guys to last time. So I'll just show you if there's anything exciting or new. I won't show you the same old stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go. All right, loves, let's check out Halloween Express. I had no idea really what to expect. I vaguely remembered it, but I haven't been in years and years and years. So <laughs> we went in and went straight to the decor section, of course, because the decor is the number one reason why I'm there. I honestly don't really dress up for Halloween anymore, but I've had a reason to, obviously I would, but I don't need an actual costume. But if you need a costume, Halloween Express is where it's at. <laughs> they have so many costumes so they did have some fun stuff poked around they had some like spell books and some gargoyles and all the skeletons and all the spooky things uh there's the bean <laughs> first video with the bean i hope you guys are excited uh there was definitely some baking stuff which i thought was really cute these little spatulas lots of cute paper plates so if you need some party supplies they definitely had some unique stuff that I haven't seen at the other Halloween stores when it comes to party supplies so definitely something you can check out and they had a bunch of signs which were really cool I really like that one in the top corner with the cat I think I got it oh maybe I didn't get a close-up of it whoops there's the bean <laughs> he also was recording stuff too for his Instagram there's this spooky guy on the floor. If you're into Harry Potter and want to dress up for Harry Potter, there's a lot of stuff. We all know there's a lot of drama with J.K. Rowling, which stinks. But if you love Harry Potter, there was a lot of wands and cute stuff. Um, but yeah, they also had a Ben Nye makeup section. Back in the day, I was obsessed. And I remember I would like find um, costume shops and stuff to buy it. That stuff is so good. You can also buy it online, but they have a lot of fun colors. And I feel like way back in the day, it was like one of the only brands that ever had a red eyeshadow. So I just thought it was so cool. They did have a really cool spooky pin section as well. Nothing in there that I needed. They just had some random knickknacks and stuff that were cute, like these little pumpkins. There was a spooky, <laughs> spooky hallway that went into the mall, which we did not go down because we didn't go into the mall. But they had so many costumes costumes on costumes on costumes and so much space that they were planning to put more so again if you're looking for a costume Halloween Express is probably a good place to check I don't know if Halloween Express is like a franchise or how it works if it's the same as Spirit if you guys know let me know I thought this little collar was cute with the little cuffs uh they did have some cute accessories I feel like their accessories excuse me I feel like their accessories are where it's at when it came to Halloween Express Definitely some fun stuff, some unique things. They had some cute little tote bags. I thought these little light up guys were pretty cute. Yeah. The bean like this one. I feel like I have no brain today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like, yeah. Halloween. I feel like we've done so many shop with me's for Halloween decor uh, that my brain just is, is, you know. But anyway, fun stuff. These little guys were adorable. Um, they also had some little pins and some earrings, jewelry and stuff like that. Spirit also has a ton of jewelry too, so if that's something you're looking for. They also had some cute scrunchies, which I was tempted to grab. Their purse section, honestly, was probably my absolute favorite. The only thing that stinks is a lot of this was quite overpriced. Like, I've seen 
both of these I'm pretty sure on Amazon for like half the price which I guess makes sense so that's why I'm wondering if it is like a franchise that they can carry whatever they want and price it however they want or how it works I don't know not that it matters but they did have some really cool stuff and this bag is really cute I loved that it was sparkly and I do really like this little guy he's literally in my Amazon cart but when I saw the price I was like well I guess that one's only like five dollars more than Amazon but still but still they did have a bunch of pop figures so if that's something you're into definitely some fun spooky pops hello guys we have returned um I wasn't super impressed I mean if you're looking for a I feel like I'm closer to you than I was I am hold it <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't super impressed. I feel like if you're looking for a Halloween costume, Halloween Express would be a great place to go. Uh, there were lots of options for that. There were some cute accessories. I feel like it's definitely priced higher than Spirit is. Like the purse that I got was only $21.99 and the cute purses in there were more like $40, $35, stuff like that. They are really cute though and I haven't seen a lot of them at other places so that is a good thing about that. Do um, you have any thoughts about Halloween Express, babe? It was, it was pretty good. Pretty much what you said, to be honest. Yeah, it was you, mostly you said it up better than yeah. I would. Yeah. Mm. There was Jonathan the skeleton. Is that his name? Yeah, I don't know. The big, the big boy. It's big Jonathan. <laughs> there was a giant skeleton. He was pretty cool. But he was like, I didn't. Even I, look. He was a hunt. I think he was like 170, but I might be crazy. Ooh. He was 140. I don't know. It was 100 something. It's too much. And we were spending how much? You might as well get the like 12 foot skeleton from Home Depot. <laughs> You know, because he looks like much more sturdy and he's, he would just live in my backyard. I will get one one day and he'll just stay back there all year. That's the plan. You cool with that? Big facts. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, we are going to pop over to one of the spirits that is open on this side of town. And again, I do think it is much larger or at least larger than the last one we went to. So hopefully we'll find something cool there and I'll see you with spirit. All right, loves, let's go to Spirit. I feel like a little bit of this is probably going to be repeats of last time because I like to look at the same kind of stuff, but I tried to find some new stuff for you. They definitely had some different t-shirts than the other one did. I'm still loving this purse and I want it so bad, but it's $30 and I'm just having a hard time. They have the cat purse that I got last time, which is only, I think it was $21.99. Such a good deal. Those, I just love this print that's on that little backpack and stuff. I don't know what's up with this clip and why it looks so crazy, but I thought this button-up was really cute. It would be really nice, wouldn't it, if Spirit would expand their sizing. Can we at least get an XXL? Can we get a 3X? Can we get a 4X? Uh, this orange plaid button-up, the bean really liked, but it was in women's sizing. Uh, he just thought the orange was cute. Orange is his favorite color. <laughs> I love this jacket. I think we looked at it in my last shop with me and I just never gonna see it. I'm like, this is so cute. Why does it only go to an XL? Why? 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 I will complain about it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think these are so cute. I don't remember seeing that at the other one. They had some little patches and pins, lots of fun tights, and they do have some plus size tight options, which is really nice. I don't know if they have them this year, but last year I got some Celestial ones that are adorable, and I just found them. So, yes, I lost them for a whole year. <laughs> What's new? I have too much clothing, and I just like, you know, get stuck in there. So I had to check out the Beetlejuice stuff because it's always fun to look at. Uh, I like that they have the little purse that's the handbook of the recently deceased. I went to look through this thing to see what was going on and there were some creepy clowns and then I was like, oh, it's a puppy. Sorry to the stranger, but your puppy's cute. Your puppy's cute. Um, I had to check out the decor section, always and forever. I thought that was a very, very interesting quote on that little plate. Uh, they had some different stuff. A lot of it was the same, but they did have some different stuff. So if you have more than one spirit in your area, and there's a larger one, I would definitely say go to the larger one if you can, which I mean makes sense, but there definitely is some different stuff. So I will probably honestly end up checking out every single spirit in town. We've got two more that are opening, so I will probably check those out too. Let me know if you guys want to go with me. Uh, and I can, I mean, I could always just film stuff that I find that's different, but you know, let a girl know. Uh, I was checking out their witchy books and journals. Definitely some cool stuff. I thought this one was neat, but I already have a similar book, so I ended up not getting it. Uh, I think the crystal ball is cool and this little palmistry thing. The only thing is, is a lot of it was blue themed and blue. If, you know, if you've been around, you know it's not my <laughs> it's not my vibe. Um, I'm much more of black and white, gold, stuff like that. Uh, 
but I thought I would check it out. And then we checked out some more of their costumes. They had some really funny ones. We were laughing at like the peanut butter and jelly and the avocado toast and the milk and cookies. <laughs> Trying to decide which one of us would be what. They had some funny ones in the back corner too that we were very amused by. I thought this little tutu dress was cute, especially because it came in plus sizes. Heck yeah, girl. Like I would totally style that up just as is. I know it's supposed to be like a costume, but whatever. <laughs> it's like a base of a costume. They have some really cool vintage style masks. Uh, this thing right here, we were thinking it was going to be all spooky in there. And then I walked in and I realized that they hadn't put everything in there yet. So it wasn't spooky at all. And then here's the bean posing at the little selfie place. <laughs> they have a little station in every spirit for you to take a selfie and tag them. Uh, so we were just looking at it. And we checked out the mugs and I had to check out the jewelry. I swear most of the fun stuff is like in the checkout section, like where you walk out. It's where they get you. Both of the things I ended up getting were in the checkout lane. Uh, so I, I grabbed one of these little cats. It's very loud, by the way. And the bean picked something out. He decided he was going to get this t-shirt, which I'm not surprised at all. The minute I saw it the last time I was at Spirit, I was like, uh, he needs that. And I grabbed this coloring book and the little keychain and that's it and then we thought the moon was really pretty so i got you a little shot but that's it hey loves what's up it has been a couple days since the last filming that you saw of me shopping at halloween express and spirit uh we have just pulled up the target i'm with my girl lena but she just got off work she'll just say hi with her fingers <laughs> uh but yeah we're gonna go look oh let's show the little we just picked up some pillows i can't believe we got these i had placed an order for this little guy for the target near me oh he's so cute only ten dollars ten dollars look how cute he is wow wow he kind of looks like an owl in a way he's like a kind of reminds me of hedwig from harry potter but, yeah. but he's a little ghosty he's so cute only ten dollars so anyway we as i hand it back to you <laughs> um so we got those and it looks like judging by the target blah, 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 brr, judging by the target app that they have some halloween they might have the birds the burps and they might have the mummy mug that I really want. So we're gonna go see what Target has. I don't know what else we're gonna do today, but thought I'd bring you guys along with me. So let's go see what Target has. I'm excited. All right, loves, let's go to Target. I had to check out the dollar section to see what was up. I have not had a ton of luck in the dollar sections at Target. Luckily, Alina, the last time she was at this Target, she found the little coffins for me. So I did get my little coffin shelves that I wanted so much. That was like the number one thing out of this, out of the like Halloween dollar section at Target that I wanted. I thought these little houses were cute, but I decided I didn't really need it, um, especially because I got the coffins and I'm excited about those. This little wreath is cute. If it was just like a little bit bigger, it's just so tiny. It's just so teeny tiny. Uh, I thought this pumpkin was really cute. I don't know what's up there, but you know. Uh, they had these little guys and tiny little candle abras, which were pretty cute. They had some little kid cups, little sippy cups. I mean, they could be adult cups. They don't have to be little kid cups. You do you, boo. Um, they also had some bubbles in some fun containers. I thought the witchy one with the moon and stars was cute, but I really didn't need any. And this is like all I could find. There were like a couple dishes. The app fooled me. Okay, the app fooled me, you guys. But there were some cute cat toys and some dog treats. So Target's got their Halloween stuff for pets on lock. They've got that. But literally the app said that like where stuff was supposed to be and it was not there. Every year this cracks me up. Tasty human. <laughs> um, I wanted to get these so bad for Binks, but I know he would never wear them. He would never wear them but I probably should have got them anyway just to like put them on him for like five minutes and see what happens so as we were walking through the clothing section look at this you guys so they have the Halloween it was just in boxes in boxes and boxes so I'll definitely have to go back in the next couple days and check it out and see if they have any more I was gonna go to Target the other day but I wasn't feeling my best so I just did a pickup because I just wasn't it just wasn't a good day and that's okay uh, so they did have some PJs and stuff towards the front, some socks. They didn't have a lot out yet. Let me know if your Target's got its Halloween out because I, I just don't want to waste time. <laughs> you know, I keep going and checking and it's not there. So I want to go when it's out. Hey love, so Target, as you saw, was a total bust. Total bust, but 
they have all those boxes out so i'm sure that it's coming so we will have a target halloween shop with me soon uh, but since we're up here we're gonna pop in at home really quick and we haven't been to at home we you and i uh since they first started putting out halloween stuff so i'm sure they'll have something so at least we can go look at something here um but yeah again nothing i'm looking for uh so i guess we'll see what we can find hopefully hopefully it's a surprise of goodness in there because we need that <laughs> I'm glad we got our ghosty pillows, but we were a little disappointed because Target online said that they had so much stuff. Uh, but it's okay, so we're going to look at it at home. So Olena and I left Target feeling a little bit disappointed, so we wanted to go somewhere that we knew we would find some Halloween joy. So here we are at At Home, and they had tons of stuff. They definitely had more than the last time I was there. I probably missed some of it. And actually the day that I'm recording this voiceover, I was in another city. Um, I was in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, uh, cause that's where I get my TMJ Botox done. And I stopped at there at home and they have some cute stuff. They had some stuff I hadn't seen yet. So definitely check out your at home and see what's up. Uh, but they had a ton of cute candles. There were so many things that I could have gotten and wanted to get and I could have gone crazy. And there were so many things where I'm like, I need this. I need this. Like, I love this bowl. I love this. What would I do with it? I don't know. Um, look at this cute cat hand candle, $8.99. Halloween hoedown. <laughs> Halloween hoedown. We were laughing about it. Um, let's get spooky. I loved that mat. I, I was convinced I was going to get it in the last one. I was like, you know what? I don't need it. And I almost got these. They're so cute. I really want the Rose Candelabra from Target if I can get my hands on it. I'm just like obsessed with it. Um, and I missed it when it was online. So I hope I can grab that. And if I get that, then I might go back and get some cute candles. But I didn't want to get the candles before I have the candelabra. And I'm like, I'm set on that one. I mean, maybe I can look for a different one. But like, uh, just so perfect. These were spooky. These were spooky. <laughs> um, they had so many different shaped candles. I thought this little cauldron was adorable with the little like you can looks like there's a potion in there. Some spooky skulls, some creepy wreaths. They got you covered. Some bug plates. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, these candles were really rad too. I love the packaging of them. Definitely, definitely a vibe. A lot of green. Uh, these little guys, how cute are those little ghosties? I was trying to get a little clip of myself and then I noticed I was going to get a picture for the thumbnail and someone was looking at me. By the way, those little ghosties, hopefully I get another shot of them. I'm regretting not purchasing them, the ones that were in Alita's hand. They're like a four set of ghost candles and they're just adorable. They're just adorable. Why did I not buy them? Oh, there they are. You can see them again. Those little, they're just too cute. I just want them all. And this guy, it's a vibe. Did you see his face? Uh, there were some... Oh, there we go again. Apparently, see, I was just as obsessed with these candles. Why didn't I buy them? Because I was trying to be a little more responsible. But what fun is that? Halloween decor is only out once a year. And I just need to have some fun. And I should have got the ghosties candles. Ghosties candles. If I can speak... I can't speak at all today. What's new, though? Can I ever speak? Nope. But that's okay. Hopefully you guys love me anyway. Well, some of you... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they had lots of pumpkins. I thought this big ghosty guy was so cute. I almost knocked him over. He's very lightweight. Definitely was a surprise. I thought he was going to be a little bit heavier than that, but he like fell right over. How cute is this candle? Adorable. The regrets. I swear every time I go shopping and like I'll narrow it down and I won't get too many things. And then I, I edit this stuff and I'm like, I should go back for that. I should go back for that. Why didn't I get that? I should go back for that. Double Double Toil and Trouble was not a Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen movie. I am probably totally aging myself, but let me know if you remember it. It's a vibe. They had a lot of cute little lights, lots of good options. Uh, they were a little bit pricey on some of them, but like, and this was cute, but like, he looks like an alien. He doesn't really look like a skull. Uh, the one from Joanne's is the one I ended up getting a light up skull, and I really like him. Uh, they had, I didn't even, like, I saw them, but like, I didn't even realize how cute all of their little skeletons were. I loved this candle and they had some cute little towels. These guys were creepy. <laughs> I love a ghost with little cheekies. I think they're so cute when they have little cheeks and this little bat pumpkin. I think he's a bat. Yeah, he's, well, I know he's a bat. I'm just trying to say it. And apparently I wanted to show you the candles again. 
I just, I guess I loved them, but like didn't realize how much I loved them until I did not buy them. What a weirdo. I better go back and get those, huh? I bet you guys agree. I need them in my life. So we did end up going over to Ross really quick because it was kind of on the way towards home and we were just kind of on the hunt for some stuff. But this Ross is always insanely busy. It was insane. Insane. Like insanity. I don't even know how I got you know, was able to get some clips. Like there were people in the area, there were people in line. The line was insane, which was a bummer because we did find some cute stuff, but then we just like couldn't handle waiting in that long of a line. Like Alina really wanted this Jay Parker thing. I wanted this. I wanted it. I don't know why, but I wanted it. Um, just as a random, random weird decor. I'm all about it. Lots of fun stuff. I feel like Ross is like the MVP this year. Honestly, I've gotten some really cool, affordable stuff at Ross. Ross always has the best deals too. The prices are always the best. Like these big signs are always like $20, $25. Their pillows are like 20 bucks. Like it's just a good deal. It's a good deal. I ended up getting a big planter. I think I inserted the footage because I went to Ross again after this. Yes, this right here is footage from a different Ross. And they had some cute little mugs and some serving cauldron bowls. And then there were some planters. This guy ended up getting in black. So cute. Hey loves, so we popped in Ross too after at home, as you guys saw, at home had a ton of stuff. We didn't get anything at Ross because the line was insane. We both found like one thing. I was gonna get that uh, hourglass. And she had found a Jay Parker uh, spoon rest, but the line was just crazy. So we put it back and we left, but we did both get something at, at home. I got this little guy. I want to put him in the new background that I am planning for my fashion videos. So he was very cute. They also had a bigger one, as you guys probably saw. And then this little guy, <laughs> he's only $5.99. And I don't know why I needed him, but I needed him. He was Someone had just stranded him in the fall section, and I don't know. I think his name is Spooky Joe, but well, to be determined, if you guys have a name for him, let me know. Both things that Alina got, I was thinking about getting, so I might have to go back. I do have some different ghosties from last year from Home Goods, so I didn't grab these yet, but these are cuter than the ghosties I have. So if you can see them, I feel like the brightness is just making it hard. Uh, she got these. They're so cute. And I might go back for these two. Both of these things. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow good job, Alina. <laughs> but I think that might be it for this shopping with me vlog. So uh, if you made it to the end, what what emoji should I leave? Think of a spooky emoji. What's that called? The ball? The crystal ball? Crystal ball. Crystal ball. Although I have done that one and half people couldn't find it. That's my favorite oh, one. Oh, no. So what's some more? I guess they could just do the skeleton. Yeah, you can do crystal still. ball or the skeleton for a little spooky Joe here. Whatever you, whatever you can find. Skelly for spooky Joe. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that is it. Give this video a thumbs up. If you liked the Halloween shop with me, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite place is to shop for spooky decor. And I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Go, let's go Halloween. Yes, I can't see it. You can't read it. You say hi. Okay. <laughs>